is having a discussion regarding law of attraction. <coughs> law of attraction is basically this concept that when you have certain life thoughts, you'll attract similar life subjects. That is, when you have certain positive thoughts in your mind, you'll manifest it in reality. When you think about a car for years, you'll actually have a car when you work towards it. So we were discussing about it, and I realized while we were discussing that I, the non-approachable or non-direct maybe, I was the dreamy-eyed person, and according to her, I was the person who was not very realistic. I was the person who was very dreamy and whimsical and would make decisions based on zodiac prediction. <laughs> I was that person. Basically, I was the good cop. Whereas this other person was the calculated, was a realist, and according to me, she was cold, she was malicious, she was very vindictive, and she would make every decision based on calculation. <laughs> Basically, she was the bad cop. Fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, this very evening I'm talking about, it was a very cold evening where heavy drop of rains was dropping on the window pane, and it was breaking the airy silence in a meeting room where Sura Shrestha, the founder of Anthropos, was sitting with his colleague. At this very moment, Sura Shrestha got up from his chair, took his mug of coffee, and looked at his colleague and said, I know what you all are thinking. We are going through difficult times. But we all knew this would happen, didn't we? At this point, all of them looked at each other and gave a very sad glance at each other. And later that evening, Sura Shrestha was driving his car in full speed and thinking about my myriad of thoughts. At one hand, he was thinking about how he had this vision of this company when he was in US, when he was returning back home. He thought about this company where he would mix profit making by selling sunglasses with having some philanthropic thing done with the prophet and uh, do some cataract surgery in rural Nepal. He had this vision and he wanted to manifest it with a lot of growth potential. On the other hand, he was thinking another thing. He had this wonderful idea, but he was not even meeting the projected sales that was required for success to be on number on the paper. So with these two conflicting thoughts, he was driving the car. At this point, the bad cop that I said entered and said, Sura Shrestha is a fool. Sura Shrestha is definitely a fool to understand that law of attraction exists. Law of attraction does not exist. There are eight and a half billion people in this world. Whatever they think, whatever the uh, ideology they have, whatever subject they have in mind, do you think it manifests in reality? If it happened, this world would be such a beautiful place to live in. Law of attraction was actually there. So this entire concept Sura Shrestha had in mind was not just risky, it was foolish, is what the bad cop said. At this point, the good cop entered and said it was not foolish. Even the fallacies would be brought in and it would do good to Sura Shrestha. He would only look at ideas that would serve his vision. He would only meet people that would serve his vision. He would only find resources that would serve his mission. And eventually, along the years, he would definitely manifest what he thought. That is what the good cop said with a lot of enthusiasm. Law of attraction exists. At this point, the bad cop just entered with a very smirk, and she said, Law of attraction is like a lover falling in love with a random stranger based on a belief that certain stars might have aligned and it might happen. It will take a long route. Or law of attraction might be something like digging a hole, getting inside, and then not without calling anyone, practically hoping that someone would come and save. Law of attraction is also like uh, one of the articles I read. It, uh, the title is pretty long. It goes like this. It says, how my startup lost rupees 15 lakh and 
got shut down before its first anniversary. It's an actual title. So with this, uh, with this article, what the two entrepreneurs did is they invested all their money on this venture and they went complete bankrupt because this site didn't work out. So Sura Shrestha might get in this kind of mess is what the bad cop says. Do you think the good cop said anything? The good cop didn't say anything. She just smiled and quoted Polo Coelho. She says that all that, the, you know, all that you want, the universe conspires to get it for you. So it will happen. Whatever you desire will happen. And take a pause. Bad cop just entered and said that Surya Shrestha is not the center of the universe. Surya Shrestha does not have any belief regarding a lot of political, economical, social, technological, legal thing that might be happening around. There's so many things going around. How can you just conspire and some kind of magic will happen and it will happen? It won't happen for Surya Shrestha, is what the bad cop said. Bad cop also quoted an article. Bad Pop quoted this article which says how an entrepreneur's passion can actually bur burn themselves. It said that an entrepreneur, when he or she is full of vision, he or she will neglect all kind of criticism. He or she won't see any kind of risk. And he or she won't even speak any truth that is actually kind of mistakes happening in the company. All in all, he live in es escapism. He'll escape everything and just let it go and believe it will happen. So that is what the bad cop said. Eventually, the good cop came in and firmly said that Surya should do what he thinks he should do because look at Vinod Chaudhary. In one of his articles, interview articles, he said that when Vinod Chaudhary was starting his company, a lot of people around did a lot of uh, feasibility study, as we call it, and said, that it wouldn't work. But it did work with a leap of faith. He did what he did, and the rest, as we know, is history. So Suresh Chester kept on thinking all this stuff, and the good cop who said, you should go, you should do things, you should go after your vision, you should have a vision board on your wall. There was this side, and the bad cop said that you should be very particular about your execution. You should have not just the vision, but the execution strategy as well. And I leave the stage by asking who, which cop should Sudarshan listen to? Over to the 